Welcome to Adventure to Anywhere, and today we are at Bach Tower Garden. So um, the big pull here is uh, there's a massive tower. It's called like a singing tower. Um, there's also a gardens ground that we can visit and all sorts of cool stuff. So let's go check this place out. Edward William Bach, a famed author turned conservationist and philanthropist, wanted to preserve the land known as Iron Mountain. With the help of top landscape architects, the grounds were turned into a bird and garden sanctuary. Today, you can visit here and take a walk through the gardens, take in some breathtaking views, and learn all about the gardens at the on-site museum. But probably the most notable feature of this location is the Singing Tower, a 205 foot tall wonder. So this is the Bach Tower Visitor Center. Looks like we got a theater and all sorts of cool things to check out here. This is what we'll be visiting today. Jill, we found it. That's it? That's the, uh, that's the tower, I think. Oh, I see. What is this, a tower for ants? There's an interactive video here. You can check on the singing tower that's here, or you can learn more about the other towers throughout the world. And this is the instrument that gives you the tones and the sounds that you hear from the tower, which is uh, really cool. It's much like a organ or a piano, but you know, just a little different. This section right here kind of talks about the evolution of Florida um, and uh, a lot of the animals and wildlife that have lived here over the years and continue to live here. These mighty statues are on top of the singing towers which is really awesome. You know what this reminds me of? What? One of the, the two towers from The Lord okay. of the Rings. Kind of. We moved on from the museum and headed out to explore the gardens. The first thing we encountered was a butterfly pit stop. This is a Monarch way station. It says this site provides milkweeds, nectar sources, and shelter needed to sustain, sustain monarch butterflies as they migrate through North America. This is really cool. I mean, these little guys are everywhere. Just floating around, flapping around, doing whatever it is butterflies do. Back in the St. Louis Zoo, they have a, like a butterfly house, but to just have them all just out here in the wild, just flying right in front of you, it's, it's a different experience. I like it. I say, let's head this way and see what the kitchen garden's all about. I like to keep my insects far away, but that's just me. They have an outdoor kitchen and edible garden. And this is the children's garden. I feel like I want to try to go through this walkway. I want to feel hobbity. I made it. I made it. I'm okay. I made it. Jill, do you think you can make it? Yeah. <laughs> have a little sandbox here for kids to play in. And this says, push the green button once for fountains. Don't mind if I do. And I have no fountains. Oh, oh, I stand corrected. Fountains everywhere. Did you hit it? Did you turn on the fountain? Okay, I'm gonna go through before it starts. I don't wanna get wet. I don't wanna get wet. I don't want to get wet. I made it. I made it. Ha ha. You're not fast enough for me, fountain. Okay, Jill, go. Go. Oh, I missed her. Go, Jill. Go. You got this. Look at the skill and dexterity. Incredible. Will she make it all the way? Oh, you did it. What is this? Like a little place to sit and read But Jill, you won't fit in that chair. Well, you might. Go! <laughs> Beautiful. Xylophone, go! 
do, do the slide thing. Do the slide thing. Yeah. Is this what I think it is? Is this a hammock? Huh. Oh. Well, Jill, you can film the rest of the day. I found where I'm gonna hang out. Who needs rocks when you've got family? And here is a cool little place where you can put on a little play if you want. To be or not to be? That is the question. I don't know the rest. Brava, brava. It's a frog hop. Only thing is though, I'm not gonna hop it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk it. And is this climbable? I feel like it's climbable. It's a balance beam thing, maybe. I don't know if I'm supposed to be walking on this. After we had our fun, we journeyed off to see what else Bach Tower Gardens had to offer. Yeah. I think it's about to get crazy because we're going into the wild garden. Well, so far, so what? it's not feeling too wild. This feels uh, rainforesty. Oh, this is kind of cool. I like this. This is cool. And we're approaching a thing. I don't, I don't know what it is, but we're approaching it and it looks cool. Oh, it's just a, well, here's a lizard there. Um, but this is just a little place you can actually just come and chill and look out on the grounds. How fun is that? And this way to the wetland boardwalk. I like that a lot of what this place is about is uh, conservation and taking care of animals. Like here's a bird feeder here. And um, you know, we had the thing with the butterflies. It's very cool. I, I love this. This is great. I feel the need we need to explore the window by the pond, shall we? Sure. <laughs> we cannot explore. The window by the pond is locked. So this is, uh, I love this place. This is really cool. It's like a cross between almost like a botanical garden and a, something else, a tower thing. Pretty cool. Yeah, it is really cool. <laughs> Highly recommend this place. This is awesome. And I think here we found the boardwalk area. So you just come out here and walk around. Now you're kind of amidst all of the, you know, all the plant life all around you. Kind of walking across this kind of bridge-like structure. Here's a nice little pond over there. Pretty cool. A lovely smell. Whew, I don't know what that was, but okay. And uh, yeah, very nice. Bill, it's already happened. What? I'm already lost. That doesn't happen. It doesn't take much for it to happen. Not really. I get lost in my own home. That's okay though. Yeah, we really love this. It's, you know, one part walking trail, one part museum, and then of course you've got the singing tower. There's just a lot here to do, and the the fee to get in is, is not that much at all. It's definitely worth it. And here's a nice map for people like me who get lost all the time. This place, just because of all the, the you know, the trees and, and stuff and the way it looks, this would be a really cool place for them to do like a dinosaur display like they had at the uh, St. Louis Zoo. Uh, that would be, it'd look pretty cool in a place like this. Off to the singing tower. And something from way up high just clunked me on my head. It's great. On our way to the singing tower, we came across the Pinewood Estate. So over there is a house. I hope we can go inside it. That would be pretty cool. Cause that's a pretty cool looking house. Wow, I mean, this is just, this is incredible. And I see open doors, so I'm hoping you can go inside this. But holy cow. Imagine if this was your house. Beautiful. So it does look like today that the house is actually closed. Um, but it is something that you can normally go through, which is really cool. We'll have to come back here and check this place out. And even though you can't go in the house right now, you can kind of walk around a little bit on the grounds and just look at all the, just all the different just structures and here's a little fountain thing going on and 
Man, it's just really awesome. And holy cow, would you look at that view. Oh man, just to wake up in the morning from this is your house and you wake up in the morning and there's your view. Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can hear it right now, but the singing tower is currently singing. We love this kind of style of architecture because it just, uh, it just reminds you of that, you know, like something out of like Pirates of the Caribbean or something like that. Just really awesome. way now to the singing tower uh, I'm not sure if we can go inside it or not so I guess we're gonna have to find out Jill I think maybe the tower is this way I think so. and this is pretty cool too this is a uh, overlook oh you're giving a guest registration right there very cool you just have a seat and just look out onto the grounds I'm not sure if you can hear it, but we're approaching the singing tower and there it is. Holy cow. Look at the, just the size of that thing. Oh man, that is incredible. How magnificent. And on the way to the tower, we continue to walk through jungly type jungle stuff. The singing tower is singing its little heart out. Listen to it go. I am just in awe of this thing. This is just so cool. And now that I'm closer, I'll try to give you an idea of the scale of this thing. Still going up, all the way up there. Now this, almost like a little moat, sort of around the, the tower. It actually is a koi pond and looks like there's a little place here you can, you can feed the fish. And wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Look at that view. Holy cow. That is just absolutely gorgeous. I could see just hanging out here, sitting here and losing hours. Just staring out into the open field and just thinking, just wow. Jill? Yes? From now on, this is where I come to do all of my book writing type stuff. Perfect. I'm just gonna sit right here and I'm gonna do all my writing. Sounds good. Well, I do wish that we could go inside of this. I don't know if they ever allow that. Um, I know there's a diagram on the website uh, that shows like all the different layers and what all the different layers are of the tower. Um, it'd be really cool if you could go in that, but as far as I know, I don't think you can. totally different mm -hmm. totally cool oh, I don't want to sound dumb but are those real lily pads all right I, I guess that's what you would call them lily pads yeah I that those are really cool they're huge it was time to go but we will most certainly be back to Bach Tower Gardens so Bach Tower Gardens what'd you think I liked it that was really cool 
it was uh, it was really a great place. Um, it's a good mix between um, you know they've got so much to do. They've got nice walking trails. They've got the tower to go see. Um, you know, there's a children's play area that has a lot to offer. That was really cool. That yeah, was, a lot of kids like that. Yeah, definitely. And um, there's a restaurant there, gift shop, um, a lot of good stuff to do. Highly recommend checking this place out if you are in the Central Florida area. So anyway, this is Adventure to Anywhere, and thanks so much for watching. Everybody have a great day. Bye. Hey, Jill. Yes? This is a Simpsons stopper. Like, I don't feel like you can stop the Simpsons. Like, what, what season are they on? I don't know, 100? Yeah, there, there's no stopping the Simpsons. Sorry, plant. <laughs>